What's going on, Johnny? What's up, guys? Hi, Tan. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you Good. again. It, I'm doing the yeah, medias. See, yeah. <laughs> it, it looks like you guys got some bad blood. Maybe, maybe I should sit back and let the two of you hash this no, out. No, because no, I've, no. I've already introduced, I already interviewed Johnny a few weeks ago. So I think <laughs> Tane, I think you should take this one. I'll keep an eye on the chat. Hey, if, what you if got, Tane? Fine. We should, we should artificially inflate a uh, rivalry to benefit both of us. <laughs> Tan, you suck. You know what? You're. I went to your booth. And you didn't even have any lollipops for me this year. Hey, and I did. Every time I, I held your bag for you. I picked up your time, stuff. I couldn't every, book it. Every time I go to throw something away, an animatronic rat pops out of me. You know. <laughs> hey, don't he don't like you throwing away stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So hi everybody, I'm Johnny Roger from Haunt Scene. I do the things. All of them. I'm, all I'm, the things. I'm, I'm ready. What do I what do I gotta talk about? I because I talk about Man, myself all, all, all day. I, I'm I'm turning all this me? over to you. Yeah. Social oh, media, Tan. Okay. Um, what's your favorite fishnets? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. Okay. So, so what do you do for the people that don't know? Uh so if you're not familiar with Haunt Scene, we are a travel show for haunted attractions. We cover everything, haunts, bites, and frights. So we travel all over the country doing haunts. We go out to eat and find cool places to eat. And then we also do other scary stuff like paranormal investigations and spooky escape games and uh, anything that is hot or horror adjacent. So that's what we've been doing since 2015. All the spooky things. All uh, so I guess what would be your top tier list for haunted houses? Oh, you know, I can't do that. Well, so we're... We're not we're not reviewers. We're more of uh, just show people what's out there. Uh, so I'm gonna I'll give you a Mount Rushmore with like 30 different haunts on it. We've been to uh, we've been to 20 states and we've been to 112 haunted attractions uh, all over the place. So my long term goal is to do one haunt in every state. Uh, let's see highlights. I love every haunt in Florida. That's that's nice and easy. Um, I love Netherworld. I love Dent. I love Brighton. I love every haunt that everybody's talked about that I've been to. Uh, did a bunch of awesome haunts in Michigan. Erebus, Hush. Loved, 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 loved Eloise Asylum. Really looking forward to doing the, the sister one, Penhurst, uh, this year. Uh, been up to the Northeast. Loved Haunted Overload. Uh, love Legends of Fear. Love Haunted Hoochie. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I love every haunt I've ever been to. And uh, I just love promoting the haunt industry. And uh, yeah, because I, I just like somebody said earlier, I feel like I'm going to leave somebody off and then all of a sudden somebody's going to get a message, you know, um, you know, 13th hour, 13th gate, rise, red vein. I, I just keep going. Just tell me to shut up. All of them. All the people. All of them. Is it, is it true that if people go and find you or, or one of your uh, fellow teammates that you can get stuff from you guys? Yeah, usually we got some kind of swag on us. Uh, that could be anything from a button. You're probably more likely to get a button. Uh, also, before the season, we print out about 100 bookies, which are these guys, although we print out much smaller ones. And uh, not with the mustache. This is the special studio bookie. Uh, but I will give you one of these. They're sharp on the bottom. You can attack people if you want. Uh, please don't do that. Uh, but we we try to give leave one at every haunt we go to with the with the owners or people that we know. And we just try to spread the love. You know, we just try to expand the haunt scene family and promote everybody, promote our friends. And uh, we're gonna keep doing that until we do one haunt in every state. And then I'm I'm gonna retire and leave it to the younger crowd. Tan's that's gonna so take over haunt scene in 2038. Oh, yeah. totally, I will support totally. that have... wholeheartedly. Yep. <laughs> I have a I have a bookie in my spider cage just for Mel. Oh uh, yeah, that's just cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Melissa, my co-host, has been with me since season three, and uh, we actually, this last Tuesday, a couple days ago, we just started our season nine, so uh, Melissa's been with me for six official seasons now, and uh, yeah, she's horribly afraid of spiders, and if if, if you find out that you're, uh, we're ever coming to your haunt, reach out to me, because I will tell you what each of my crew's phobias are, so you can react accordingly and, you know, wreck them. Rolling everybody under the bus, Johnny. How could you? Uh, except me. 
you're not going to do that to yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. Where can they find uh, your, your stuff and things, Johnny? I am all over the place. I'll make it easy on everybody. We're haunt scene on everything, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Go to hauntscene.com. You can look at all of the places we've been. We also maintain a Florida haunt directory of the haunts that we travel to during the spooky season. Our main platform these days is Instagram. So we are Instagrammers. Uh, we also do some things with uh, YouTube. Probably that's the second thing we're focusing on this year. We also have a presence on TikTok, Facebook. We're on Twitter as long as Twitter will last. And then if you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at hauntscene at gmail.com. And uh, I'm, we're, we're really easy to find. I'm really easy to get a hold of. And I teach. I taught a class at Fear Expo. As a matter of fact, I taught a class at uh, both of the Fear Expos. So uh, we're, we're trying to do everything we can to, to give back to the haunt industry, which we love. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Chris, any more questions that I did not cover? Chris, I'm Steve. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. She's, she's how long like, how long have you been on the show this i know um, i know like this was like, like kind of my brain an hour and... <laughs> i'm already ready for bed wow it what? is it is probably past your bedtime so i will what, say that uh, yeah what, what, what classes am i working on now i'm working on some personal <laughs> classes that uh I'm sorry, I'm moderating myself, Tan. <laughs> but uh but i uh, i'm working on some some personal classes for uh, my experience with haunted attractions, because like I said, we're not really reviewers, uh, but there are things that we really like. And there are some things that I think haunts could uh, low hanging fruit improve. So I'm really big on haunts selling themselves and promoting themselves. So uh, I'm, I'm coming up with like a, like a, like a things, like a 10, 10 things haunt should start doing and 10 things they should stop doing. I think that's probably going to be my next class for the next go round of haunt con or, or fear expo. So yep. you're in for Haunt Con and Fear. Haunt Con's in your neck of the woods, uh, isn't it? Yeah, it's well with traffic, it sucks, but yeah, it, it is literally about about 20 minutes from where I live. Yeah, so you're you're definitely a shoe in for there. I better be. And then <laughs> uh, you know, Fear Expo, right? Yeah, I've I you know we I went to Fear Expo with some of my new crew members this year. We had an absolute blast. Uh love love Owensboro, it's pretty cool. Uh good food, good people. A lot of people showed up this year. It was a lot of fun. Got a lot of great pictures, a lot of great content. And um, this this time around, I didn't do a booth. I was just there to wander around and network and schmooze, as I call it. We should do a live show at uh, Haunt Con or Fear Expo. Let's Me, do it. you, maybe if Jim shows up, Willie will be there. We should do a live round table. I love Willie, man. Willie, Willie and his influencer class, he name dropped me so many times. I was I was like a little embarrassed. I'm like, dude, I'm not that great, man. But thank you. I do appreciate that. <laughs> Willie is out of control and he is eager to get on this thing. Yep. Johnny, it is always a pleasure having you on here. Um, I'm sure we'll be talking to you again, hopefully sooner than later. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see you at Hong Kong. Can't wait to see you at Fear Expo. Can't wait to see what classes you're going to bring next year. Uh, you're always an asset wherever you're at in this haunt industry, and I appreciate you more than you know. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> I love you guys, man. You guys are so good to me, and, and I love the show, and I love being a part of it. So uh, thank you all, everybody. I hope everybody has a great night. And last but not least, you've got Willie Mae coming up. So there you go. <laughs> Doing, doing your job for you. I love you guys. All right. Good night, everybody. Love you, Johnny. Thank you. Bye.